Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Last time, we completed the game as Maggie again, and unlocked Eve. We still have one more character to unlock, but we'll play as our new character this time. Let's get started. Right away, we've spawned in the cellar. Oh, a quarter. That's an item we recently unlocked. We know that there is a uh, secret room right there, but we don't have the health to afford going through the spike doors. And we don't have a bomb to get our way in right now. All right, using that pill gave us some suicide flies. And our first treasure is growth hormones, a speed increase and a damage boost. And for a character like Eve, we can use all the damage boosts we can get. Even with this health, we can't go through the uh, curse room and survive. On the way out, we'd be killed without a bomb. Famine. Same as usual. But, let's uh, show off one of Eve's most interesting traits. When we get hit, the dead bird activates. Dead bird works kind of like a level 3 meat boy, without the bomb pushing. And when Eve is down to her last sliver of health, she enters Whore of Babylon mode. We get a damage and speed boost, but uh, you're on your last bit of health. Well, a cube of meat isn't a terrible item for the first floor. Looking at the map, there really isn't anything we can do here. So, we might as well drop. Oh, great. Curse of the Lost. Curse of the Lost is arguably a beneficial curse. It makes the current floor as large as the next floor should be. This gives us more rooms to uh, collect bombs and keys in. Things we desperately need right now. That's a trinket called the Tick. We're not going to pick that up right now. The Tick, while carried, will automatically lop off about 10% of a boss's health and restore one heart of your health when you enter a boss room. The problem is you can't get rid of it once you've picked it up. You will have it for the rest of the game. We're going to need to find a source of health, and fast. Oh god, we barely dodged death within a pixel there. I'd say that was more luck than anything. We really need to find some health. If we don't find some soon, we may end up having to pick up the tick. Hmm. It's going to cost us our Whore of Babylon mode, but it's better than dying in one hit, I guess. If we could get our hands on a bomb... Right, a key. We could use the key to enter the treasure room, but with our money it might be wiser to enter the store. There's a good chance there'll be a key on sale. Oh, look at that. Full health. That means we could enter the curse room, but I think we'll save that until after the boss. 
Oh, look. There's no key, but there's the Book of Revelations. That's a fantastic space bar item for Eve. And we can use this bomb to check for a secret room and reach that key. The secret room could be here, so we'll try bombing in. Alright, let's just pick up the key and avoid the chest carefully. Alright, a new Wrath of the Lamb item. Infestation. Whenever we receive damage, some suicide flies will spawn. That's not a bad thing. They do a lot of damage. Well, let's scooch through the floor and pick up all the loose change that we left behind. Oh, and we can check out the curse room. Uh-oh. Hmm. Guppy's Tail. Cursed? Guppy's Tail is a new item from Wrath of the Lamb. It has a good chance of forcing a room to drop a treasure chest. Well, this might be the first time we've actually legitimately fought Larry. Although, as you can see, he isn't exactly threatening. There we go. And the boss has dropped meat. That's another heart for us and some kind of tier boost, either damage or fire rate or speed. Either way, there's really nothing we can do here with no bombs, so... Another Wrath of the Lamb Floor. Well, we've already located the store. Too bad we don't have any keys. Also, this is about the point in the game where Eve's weaknesses become apparent. She starts with a couple of items, Dead Bird and Whore of Babylon, but the downside is she has very low attack power, and it's very difficult for her to gain it. Enemies can start to get very tough around this point. Well, a beggar. Even if we uh, can't afford anything in the store, at least we'll be able to get an item from him. Well, if we finish clearing the floor and we still don't have any bombs or keys, and there's spare health lying around, we could go sacrifice some of it. Oh, look, a blood donation machine. A better place to sacrifice health. Never mind. Guppy's tail has uh, been forcing a lot of chest drops, if you hadn't noticed. It's too bad we don't have any keys. Uh-oh. Notice that even after using the Book of Revelations and giving ourselves a soul heart, we're still in Horror of Babylon mode. Horror of Babylon mode only activates when you're on your last sliver of red health. You can have as many soul hearts as you want. Or Babylon actually makes Eve's damage somewhat more tolerable. You just have to remember to donate any additional red health you accidentally pick up. Well, this could be a close fight. Thought we were boxed in there for a second. All right, should be a lot easier from here on out.
go. And it looks like the devil would like to make a deal. Since we're Eve, uh, I think we really do need to. The pact increases our rate of fire, our damage, and gives us a couple of soul hearts. Frankly, while we're playing as Eve, we probably want less red health. Another interesting trick. When Horror of Babylon mode activates, your damage and vulnerability frames are reset, and you're given a full heart's worth of damage of invulnerability frames. So if you're careful, for half a heart, you can use a blood donation machine three times. I think we're going to want to hold on to Child's heart for a little bit. It has a chance of forcing a room to drop a heart. Considering that Guppy's tail is already forcing the rooms to drop more chests than we can deal with, Getting some hearts might not be a bad thing. Alright, a key. Let's see what else we can get out of this guy. We can donate that heart for a chance at a blood bag and some more money to donate to him. There we go. Three uses for half a heart. Oh look, a soul heart. Ooh, and a playing card. The two of clubs. That'll double the number of bombs that we're carrying, and if we have less than two, it will give us two. We'll hold on to it for now. greedy beggar. We can use this chariot card on the blood donation machine if uh, we don't get any luck. But let's open this chest first and see what's inside. A little bit of health and some money. Oops. I forgot. We were at half a heart when we entered the room, so Horror of Babylon mode didn't activate. We didn't get those invulnerability frames. Anyway. We'll take this IV bag with us to the beggar. Well, let's see if we can get anything out of him. Well, the ladder. Let's scout around the floor and see what we can do with it. Okay, pretty much nothing. So, let's try to capitalize on our IV bag while we got it. Whoops. Overused it once and cost us half a soul heart. Oh well. Still got quite a bit of money out of it. If we had a key to get into the store, we could probably use it. For now, we have enough cash, so we'll just take the Book of Revelations down to the next floor with us. Actually, let's take one blind guess at where the dark secret room could be, since there are only a few spots. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Nothing left to do here, I think. All right, caves, instead of the catacombs. Sheesh, we really do need to find some keys. There's one. Let's see what's in that gold chest. Oh, the belt. We could use that speed up. Hmm. Well, we'll have to avoid that red health until we can find a blood donation machine. We wouldn't want to lose our horror of Babylon mode right now. The damage boost is too handy. Wow, 
lots of build chests. With any luck, there's an arcade on the floor that we can use to gamble for some keys. Speak of the devil. Oh look, a dime. And goat hoof. That's supposed to increase our damage for a random shot, I believe, but I'm not sure it's working right now. We'll all gamble a bit later after we finished clearing the floor out. Hmm. Since we do have an arcade on the floor, it's alright if we accidentally pick up that health. We can just donate it at the blood donation machine. gives us four bombs. We could double them now, but we might want to gamble first. Okay, a couple of keys. Let's see what's in the shop. Oh, look. Mom's purse. That'll let us carry two trinkets. I don't want to go pick up Child's Heart again, though. a blood bag. While we were uh, gambling, we also got a dollar, but no reason to pick that up yet. We should buy the store out first. Oh, wow. Lucky us. Steven is a pretty big damage up, and for a character like Eve, all the damage we can get is great. Let's see what this pill does. Oh. Well, I suppose that solves our uh, key problem for now. Since we have three bombs, we could double our bombs now and still have an okay amount. Well, let's take a guess at where the secret room could be. Whoa. Lucky first guess. Okay, well, it's money that we really don't need. Well, we could take a guess at where the dark secret room is, but there are quite a few places it could spawn. Probably not worth many more bombs. Well, at least it's Fistula. Not a difficult boss, just a little cramped sometimes. health up. Well, before we head on down, let's take one more guess at where the dark secret room could be. Hmm. Oh. Well, this would have come in handy if we were still trying to get a blood bag. <laughs> and nothing in the curse room. Oh well. Nothing left to do here, so I'll see you next time.